here with Michael Bolton. Look, man, that's obviously a hugely successful clip with you with Lonely Island, but it's very easy to get the treatment pitch to you and think they're making fun of you. Oh, yeah. I mean, to a certain extent, you have to be able to make fun of yourself in order to do something with the Lonely Island guys. Yeah. Their brand is, is shock and, you know, humor at your every expense, uh, your every moment. Um, but, the, but what works is when you commit to it, it pays off each scene. Really? And then they allow you some freedom just to, you know, see what's going on and how, how you're feeling about the character. They, they knew that I loved Scarface, so they made Scarface a big part of the whole thing. The first thing that got a really to me, key part of it too, <laughs> by the way. Yeah, it was interesting. Yeah, I, 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 I have to remember to speak to Al Pacino, because you, you never know how people are going to respond to your moments of right. them. I haven't heard anything about Johnny Depp yet, but yeah. um, <laughs> it's just it's almost 120 million views, and um, the first meeting I met with the Lonely Island guys in Los Angeles, at a hotel conference room. And I was sitting across from the three of them. And I said, my daughters are so excited that I'm here. And Andy Samberg said, my mother is going nuts <laughs> that, that I'm here. So th that's how it started. So I said, OK, so, so here's the thing. I read your treatment. And I really want to do this with you. I really want to do it. I love to work with you guys. But this is so nasty. I can't do it. And uh, the first treatment was just. It was pretty vile. Yeah. Funny, but not necessarily funny to a lot of my core fans who are probably just go, why? And I said, can you tweak it? Can you just clean it up just a little bit and keep it funny? But I know, I know it has to be shocking, but... And they said, no, we can do that, we can do that. And we spoke for about 15, 20 minutes. And then I figured, they're really too busy. They're directing films, they're producing films, yeah. they're acting, they're on TV, they're doing TV, writing for TV. They're not gonna have time to work on this one and about two weeks later, Andy Samberg's emailing me. Okay, what is it? Oh, this is funny, but it's actually nastier. Yeah. It got worse. I said, great that you spent time on this. Please go in the opposite direction <laughs> so I can do this. And, and it's just um, six, seven months pass. Yeah. And I'm in Atlanta, and I get an email, and I read, and I go, oh, I can do this. Nice. And I'm in character, and I, I ask them, during the certain lines, I'm in character. I am, you know, um, absolutely in character. And so they said, just find a recording studio and we'll be there on Skype. Yeah. So via Skype, they're in the room, all of them checking in. I'm there with the engineer and I start singing the hook and they're, get, they're getting excited. And they said, now, can you do some harmonies? I go, yeah, yeah, let's go. And I'm stacking harmonies. I have a show the next night. I didn't want them to panic, but right. I really wasn't supposed to be in the studio for five hours with the show the next night. But this thing was building, and literally, it did become this big, sexy hook. Yeah. And... I don't, I don't remember the hook. How did it go? <laughs> <laughs> this is the tale of Captain Jack Sparrow. <laughs> okay, but it's higher than yeah. that. <laughs>